Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy and today I will show you how to create simple HUD widget system, how to switch between things. I will use it to switch between these three cameras, but you can use it to switch between whatever you want. So let me show you how it looks like. I can move around with one camera and then press V, click on first one, then use this thing, second one, uh, back to this thing and second one here. I can look from the other side. That's about it. You can use it in real time to try everything you wish for. So let's get to it. All right, let's get started. As I probably said in the intro, I will test that switching system by switching between these cameras. So I will go between this one, this one, and the last one. Confer something like that. If you're interested how it is set up, it's like really super simple. I have here just uh, deactivating and activating different cameras. That's why it has such a strong jump. But I won't need to uh, do any of these keyboard switching. Let's set up here some HUD. So uh, I will do it just in a content because I will have very few files today. So let's right click, create the user interface and widget blueprint. And let's call it switch menu underscore widget. Let's open that. And first thing you will want to do is to add here some buttons. So click on common and put here a button. Uh, let's switch anchor to center, something like that. Uh, let's put it here and let's put it also text right in there. And that text should be camera underscore one. Right, that's cool. Let's change the color to something like that. And maybe I would make it a bit bigger. So font, font, and let's set size to 30. Yeah, that's cool. And let's also rename the button right here and button to camera underscore one B as a button. And what I will do now is to just select these two things and duplicate it. Okay, I have to just duplicate the button and it should, yeah, it should take text with it. So make sure that it's also on the center and let's move it on the left side right here to camera two. And let's rename it to camera two. By the way, I'm going to be using just these buttons, but if you want, and you of course want, you can just quickly create in Canva and Photoshop or whatever you are using, simple triangles here or something like that. Uh, it's probably a good idea right here, set up normal and Howard as well as pressed. Once you press it, it will switch the camera, so you won't see it for that long, but it's still be notable. And you will see Howard every time you just move your mouse in there. So it may be a good indication for the player, hey, something is happening here. You should definitely show player that he can click there or something. Anyway, let's create the last one because we have three cameras. So I'll put it right here to know that it's really on center, but let's ignore that for now and name it to camera free. All right, now let's get back into third person character or whatever pawn you have. So right now you can of course create custom event for each of these modules, but let's be smart about that and create here a function. So I've select all of these, right click and create here function. I, oh, of course, uh, you can't actually collapse it. So let's select all of that, control C and create your function. Let's call it set camera. And right here, let's paste it all. So what I will want to do here is to put here a sequence, three pins. We want to create here a branch. And if it will be true, go here. Same thing, if it will be true, go here. And the same thing right here. But right now it would of course go to all of these at the same time and it would, and it would just switch all of the cameras, which we don't want. So we will use these conditions. And I think that we can use just local variables. So let's create here a new local variable. Oh no, you know what? Ignore that. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> we won't really need variables right here for that. We can just set it here in inputs. Let's compile that. We want to create here a new parameter and, uh, and another one and another one. We will need three of them. And let's put here camera underscore one and just duplicate it two times to set it to camera two and camera three. And what you would probably want to do right here in descriptions to put here use only one in case that someone else in your team will work with that. So right here we will just connect it like this do, do, do. and let's look into that so right here we can put that set camera here 
and let's just start by putting it after event begin play to make sure that it works should be somewhere here to do so event begin play connect it and i want to start by setting camera tool to true so i start with this camera let's try something else let's try camera one to true I start with a different one, and of course, last thing, let's test camera free. Not that it's any different, but it works just fine. So now let's see how we can use that in that blueprint. Delete it here, or you can leave it if you want to start with one specific camera. And what I want to do is after I click on that button, uh, and then click on and then on clicked, and let's do that with all of them. Do on clicked. I want to cast to third person character because that's the pawn I am using. So cast to third person character. Oh, it's not a pawn, it's character, but let's ignore that. We will get player character right here and of course call out function. So, come on, set camera. And I want to here set camera one. Let's duplicate it right here and set camera two. Same thing right here set camera free remember we'll have to need only one of them all right so now we also need to of course add our switch menu to the game so let's do that in third person character i want to do that after pressing some buttons so let's delete these things we don't need them and right click let's put here keyboard and let's set v after i press v i want to enable that so let's create widget and that widget should be switch menu widget so let's do that and add it to viewport right here cool and i will actually also need to turn it into variable so promote to variable because i will have to use it later and then add it to viewport so let's add it to viewport and call that variable switch menu had reference so let's try it let's play it press v and here you go you have here your menu but you can click on that and switch anything so you of course have to uh, do no come on what am i doing there uh, let's go back into third person character and what you want to do is to first of all enable mouse so enable mouse and you have to disable context sensitive so set enable mouse set it to true get it from player character uh, controller get player controller right here and also you want to from player controller disable your movement so let's set it to set uh, oh no actually ui only set input mode ui only and it may not be a bad idea to select our switch menu as in widget to focus just just to be sure in case you have a few more widgets so let's do that uh, so i'll press v and click on each of them and look at that i can switch between cameras and i can't move or do anything that's cool that's what i want all right right here i have actually made a mistake i had here something else in uh, after add to viewport and before set input mode ui only you have to set here show mouse cursor and make sure that it's taken from player controller all right that's cool so now if we click on that we can switch between cameras but i also want to make this disappear once i end it and i also want to play the game again so for that let's click on edit that person character and we will have to look back over into our function to set camera and what you want to do here after any of any of these three events happens you will want to take our switch menu had reference that's which is just a reference from for this and you want to delete that let's set it to remove from parent and the other thing is that you want to do basically a reverse of this so let's take our show mouse cursor and switch it to false right here and the last thing is of course to set it to game only and you don't want to interact with ui anymore so set game uh, input set input mode game only right here and that should do it and you can of course connect it after all three of these 
that's because each time you run this function only one of them is, is supposed to be true. So let's see if it works. Compile, click on play, I press V, and let's switch to camera one, and look at that, it disappeared, looks good. V one more time, hey look at that, that's cool. What I also like to do is to put here just super small uh, blur. So let's find here background blur, put it here, uh, set anchor to this right one, and disable everything, set it to zero, 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 zero. We have four of these things. And let's set the order to minus one, and blur strength only to like seven, may maybe even less, five. Yeah, let's do five. Click on play and look at that. You have here this short blur. Okay. Alright, that's about it. I hope that you learned something. And if you want, you can join the Discord community. Link in the description where there is plenty of talented game developers. So I'm basically just telling you to join. Uh, to join. That, that's it. Uh, Surfancy out.